Hey parents, so this video is going to be on the Penguin Nebulizer. Let me tell you what the official name for it is because this little thing is quite popular. The official name is the Penguin Pediatric Compressor, Compressor Nebulizer. And then here's all this information. If anyone's interested, you can pause the video. But yeah, I just wanted to show this because like I said, this little thing is quite popular and I just had to start using it for my toddler. So I'm just going to I'm just going to show you what it looks like and I'm going to let you hear it also. So, it's super cute because when you have a very small kid, they can be kind of scared because they are a little bit loud and noisy. So they can kind of be scary. But this is so cute. My 3-year-old was not scared of it at all. He didn't want to do the treatment at first, but uh, after a couple tries, he was totally fine with it. It has a little red bow, little feet, and here is the back. You can see you can hold it here from room to room if you need to. Right here is where you plug in the tubing, and right here is an air filter. I'm going to show you both of those. Here's the off and on switch. Let me start with the the um, air filter. You just kind of turn it and you take it out. Do you see how little this is? Let me take it out and actually show you. It is so tiny. Oh, hold on. Okay, so here is the filter. You can see it's just like the size of the tip of my finger. It is so small. You see that? Now, this was in storage for quite a while and I wanted to make sure whenever my son started using it again that we were going to have a brand new one. And these little things are hard to find. They were real cheap, but kind of hard to find. So you can of course get everything online. Um, when I say it's hard to find, it was hard to find locally. But yeah, you can definitely get these little things online. I put it back in here, but the official name for these, I believe, are replacement air filter sponges for nebulizer. So if anyone's looking for them online. So you just twist that back in and you hear a little click. Okay, and then here is the plug. The plug is a pretty decent size. Okay, so like I said, this is where you plug the tubing in. Now, here's my tubing. I don't know if there's different kinds of tubing. I don't know really much about this, but this is the mask that we got. We actually got this from my son's provider. This did not come with this, um, but you can see that this is just like a little mask. It's compatible. I'm assuming, don't quote me, but I'm assuming that these tubes and like the masks that come, that it's probably like a standard port size for many different compressors. So you just kind of put this on. Like I highly doubt this tube. Yeah, this tube wasn't for this compressor. I actually do know that because they didn't even ask me what compressor he has. So yeah, it has to be standard. Um, but yeah, you just kind of push that in. And here, like I said, this is the mask we got. This goes around the head. So this comes off here. And then this comes off of this. You see, that's what this looks like. And then this is where you put whatever you need to in here. And even this little blue thing comes out. You see. And then the air from the nebulizer just comes right up through this hole here. This even comes apart. If you want this to come apart, this is attached to it. I'm not going to take it apart because it's on there pretty good. Also, one thing I want to make sure I say this. Don't put water in the tubing. Back when I very first got this, I thought you put water in the tubing to clean it. No, you put this in hot soapy water and then you kind of leave it air dry. But you don't try to put water directly into the tubing because that's what I did. And then I would turn the compressor on thinking... Oh, it's going to get it out of there. No, because that can prevent or that can cause like mold and mildew. So don't put water directly into the tubing. The mistake I made. Okay, I'm going to turn it on.
that's what it sounds like I mean it is a little loud and like I said the air just comes right up through here and of course when you have whatever you need to have in here it just creates a steam and then the steam just comes out here Also, I had to do this when my kid was sleeping, and I guess it honestly just depends on how deep of a sleep they are in, because sometimes when I would try to do this when he was sleeping, because I had to do it every six hours, like on the dot, sometimes it would wake him up, and then sometimes it didn't wake him up at all. So like I said, it, it, I'm sure it was how deep of a sleep he was in. Also, I want to mention that it can come with a super cute igloo case. It looks just like little ice blocks and it is so cute. I did have it at one point, but I have no idea where it went. <laughs> and I think you can get it like with or without the case. So that's an option. Otherwise you can just buy your own case. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm the kind of mom, like especially with my son because he has an airway issue I would sterilize everything, including this. <laughs> well, not this one, but I did make the mistake of sterilizing like the parts, like this part, this part. Yeah, you don't want to sterilize this because if you do, then the tubing won't fit right. And this is going to be really hard to get off and on. So yeah, afterwards, I realized you don't sterilize this. But yeah, that is the Penguin Nebulizer. It's super cute and it really worked wonders for us. It did what it needed to do. So thanks for watching. Please share the video.